My biggest problem I find with being a landlord is that nobody teaches you how to be one. Everybody talks about the benefits of being a real estate investor. You go out there, you buy a property, you rent it, you make money, easy street. It was your uncle, or in, your, in my case, it was my dad, a realtor. You know, they don't talk to you about the problems or the difficulties. And you can't go and find a government institution that teaches you these things really well, especially when it comes to landlord and tenant law. There are some private paralegals. There are some courses from realtors that are offered. But there's no central place that teaches you kind of everything you need to know. And unfortunately, I find that's the biggest thing that people tend to lack when they get into being a landlord. So they find into all these little problems. So this is where we do a little bit of an educational piece here, talking to people about how to find good tenants for their properties, how to avoid scams. Um, I love scam calls. We'll talk about them because they come up. Um, so when you're getting a property up to the market, there's some great things you have to pay attention to, how you're going to advertise it, what they're looking for. And so these are some very stupid things to avoid. And these are where I see a lot of landlords step in and just say, rent my property. They don't consider that they're going to lose hundreds of dollars a month for these little renovation works. Any property you go to advertise has to look as new as possible. It doesn't need to be renovated through and through, but it needs to be clean. It needs to be painted. It needs to look like it. Anything like this is an instant fail. Because not only does it tell the tenant that the property is in a bad shape, it tells them that you don't care about them, which means you probably don't care about them. And so they're going to base their reaction to the property on you.